Hello, everyone, and welcome to Red Dead Redemption 1. This is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done like a commentary walkthrough or a walkthrough at all. Heck, even doing Red Dead Revolver the last time I did it was probably, I want to say, two years ago, maybe? I don't know. I'd have to go back and check, but just knocked something here. What a great start to the walkthrough, huh? But essentially, I'm I'm excited to kind of get back into this. Um, I've gotten a lot of new things to be able to make videos with, a uh, new computer, stuff like that. And I had a couple ideas of what walkthrough I wanted to come back with the commentary for. And I was feeling one thing, and then I moved to the other. But I finally decided to go into Red Dead Redemption. I've been feeling the Cowboy games. It's a series that I haven't really finished yet. I started with Red Dead Revolver and then played Call of Juarez and Gun. And this game and Red Dead Redemption 2 are probably the two Western games that I personally have played and liked that I haven't got around to finishing. So hopefully this leads to me being able to finally like check this off the list while I'm in not only the mood to play it, but just kind of get to relive it with you guys here on the channel. But this will be a 100% walkthrough. I'll get everything 100% related to the game. Um, I think the last time I played this, I, I only got like 99.5%, and I think that was a glitch. So if that happens again, then we'll count 100%. I, I guess that happens. I don't know what I did wrong. I, I originally wanted to do this on the Xbox One because I was able to get the like download it like on that port but i noticed that there were a bunch of bugs on the undead nightmare version so i'm actually playing this on the 360 going a bit retro with it now that the series x is out wow this game is that old man it, it, it's crazy to me how time flies but essentially yes we'll be doing a 100 percent walkthrough um as many people have seen my videos before i do do outfit systems for games that i 100 percent walk through for games I really like and what I mean by that is I try to wear every outfit that's unlockable for like a specific reason maybe a specific set of missions and all that and some games are made better for that kind of challenge it's I, it's kind of unique to something to me that I do I don't know why I started doing it I think when I was a kid I've just played this game so much that I tried to wear the poncho for all the all the missions in Mexico and and then maybe the the treasure hunter outfit from when I was treasure hunting, that sort of thing. So I, I just find it's a fun way to kind of like fit the theme of certain things that you're doing in the game. And I know there are some games where it's just impossible to do something like that. But this was one of the games where I did come up with a system for myself. So I'll be playing that way. Um, expect this walkthrough to be a lot more edited and cut up because now that we're starting to get into some open world games that are quite huge, and I know this doesn't compare to like Red Dead Redemption 2, but it's still pretty big. Um, I'll probably cut the content up a lot more to get what I really want to show instead of just showing most of the time everything that I've done. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to get into this game. Um, I've spent most of the day kind of getting my stuff ready, so I may seem a little bit tired, but I'm really excited to actually play. So let's just go ahead and get into this amazing game about the West, outlaws, revolutions, and most importantly, redemption. I'm going to be playing on normal. I've never actually played hardcore, so if that is a walkthrough that you want me to do or just like a playthrough uh let me know in the comments and i will totally give that a try maybe it's something i can stream one day if i'm if i'm feeling feeling up for it so yeah so yeah
one am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased with how we helped the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the Johns family have made a lot of money. And he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Man, I've probably seen that, um... That intro, like a million times. When I say that I love this game, I mean it. I've played this game so much. It's probably the game that got me into the whole, like, Western, um, like, genre itself. Was this in Gun, probably? Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friend from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Appreciate it. I should probably mention that I do have all the DLCs, and not just that, but I am playing the Game of the Year edition on the Xbox 360, so that means that I get some um, DLC stuff that's actually exclusive to PlayStation back when they did that kind of thing, and I hate it when they do that. Um, I think I specifically got that version for that reason. I don't, know, I don't know when, maybe I just got lucky with the version I chose, or I traded in the old one to get the one that had the stuff, but... 
I think the exclusive stuff includes an outfit, a gang hideout, and some other things, uh, like some outfits and stuff like that. So you're probably going to see some things that aren't common on uh, Xbox or so. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do fight are about as sociable as an old three to back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Man, I just... I, I've been playing, uh... I've been playing Red Dead Redemption 2 recently to kind of get myself mentally prepared for this. And just seeing the difference still blows my mind. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, you. I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> That's sort of an awful thing to say, but okay, man. Uh, Jake, we never see you again after this. Also, if you're expecting to watch this without spoilers, I'll do yeah, my best, but this game has been out for, I think, a decade. You know, I think this came out in 2010. Says he got a telegram from some black so, for a tough guy. luck, I guess. I but I'll try my best. That's right. Some people may be watching this for the first time, you know? And trying to see if it's if it's worth getting, and they don't want anything spoiled. You never know what people might be thinking, you, you know? talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you're better off not knowing. I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Almost there, Mr. Marston, just over this hill. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Come on. Come for you. Bill Williamson. Come out here right now. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill. I implore you, think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. 
Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! He implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Poor Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. You should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna... Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. I know we've been seeing a lot of cutscenes, we're gonna see even more here soon, so I haven't had a lot of chance to, like, talk to you guys or anything, because I generally like to keep quiet during dialogue and cutscenes the most I can, but you'll probably get a thing here or there, so... Yeah, like, I like I, I like I play games for the story, so... It, it, if, if you're expecting, expecting commentary during cutscenes, please don't, because it's, it's not really my thing. Uh, it might be one day. Uh, maybe this this will maybe this will be the walkthrough to change that. But I'm still fairly new to you know making walkthroughs and stuff like that. I've been doing it for a couple of years in my spare time, and even then that's occasionally occasional. So 
Still getting used to my type of style of recording, you know? Back in the land of the living, I see. It's well, yeah. You saved me. Back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. I wish we could get an outfit option with just his his uh, color shirt under his little vest thing. His vest his vest outfit's pretty cool, but I also like this collared shirt. You know, it's very simple, and there are a lot of outfits like that. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse for you. Come on, boys. Come on, then. I'll of course, here's one of the problem. DLC things, uh, the war horse you get right from the start. I think he's as fast and as tough as the best three horses in the game, I think. So he's a good option. Aside from those three, maybe even better. Correct me if I'm wrong about that, but I think that's how that how the stats roll out. So but I will be intentionally using the um the special horses to each region. Just because sword. just because I like the look of each of them and getting the chance to use them is fun. And that is part of my hundred percent requirements. Outside of the game's hundred percent requirements, I do have my own. And here's the like using it, getting all the outfits and using them to the ability. There is like one or two outfits that I won't be able to use for a purpose just because they are tied to getting 100% as the reward. I used to get so specific with doing things in order with every aspect. Mostly just because I was bored and just trying to find something to do with the game. So I would, like, do certain things in order, like, uh, like bounty targets. I would get all the lower and lower priced ones done first, then move up. Because to me, that made sense, you know, like a progression. But we won't be doing that here. Um, I used to get every single one. Some, But the last time I played this, I didn't do that. In this one, I might do that, but I might do that off screen just so we have a, like, just a lot of money. I was about to say a word I wasn't sure I was saying correctly. Parethal? Welcome to part one of the Red Dead Redemption walkthrough where I, you guys learned that I cannot speak, like at all. But they plentiful amount of money, so money should not be an issue for us in this game. And never, it never really is every time I play this, just because there's there's so many ways to make money. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. Yeah, money should not be an issue at all. There isn't really that many things to buy in the game that you can't get on your own, really. Like, the only thing that costs a lot are, like, guns. Like, specific guns that you can't you earn stay? through, like, hideouts and right. stuff like that. And Keep horse deeds. So if you did unlock a certain horse... Uh-oh. Bonnie, are you stuck? Okay, well, uh, huh. we uh, we encountered a glitch in the first mission. She wasn't moving, so, um, yeah, I went ahead and failed the mission, so it would kind of like hard reset to try to fix it. So yeah, great, great, great start, ladies and gentlemen. Or encountered a glitch. That's what you get with these old games. They don't get a lot of maintenance, Come even on, though man. there really isn't a reason to, you know. Regardless, uh, it was a quick fix. Hopefully this uh, fixes the issue. Kia! 
There it goes. All right. Works that time. Just a minor hiccup. Just in case if I didn't show it, uh, she wasn't moving. So I guess it was just uh, some, like, mess up in the AI or maybe something I did, but now we got it fixed. Hopefully that won't be too much of a problem this game later. I do notice that if you fail a mission, they do different dialogue. Whenever you're do redoing a part, which I like because it's kind of cool to like hear something different. I think I was able to kill all of them. I can't remember the last time I was able to do that. We should keep moving. There's still a ways to go. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. Was that a coyote? Get those pests before they scare the livestock. Hurry, I thought you were going straight for the chicken. Nice shot. Ah, oh, gotta love the auto tracking. If that makes me a casual, on, then so be it. I'll accept that that criticism. But it's I gotta say, it would be so difficult if there wasn't that bit of tracking. So if you're able to play that way, and I think that's how hardcore works, then respect to you, my guy. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Here we are. Oh man, I'm so used to RDR2. Using a uh, Y to hitch, not X. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep, and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. A beautiful wife is no guarantee of full man purpose. Let's open this to get some money. Let's look at the outfits. All right. Well, we're we're not going to get started on getting these put together just yet. We're going to focus on getting kind of the most of the tutorial missions done as soon as possible. Um, but we will be getting all of these. And I think these are the DLC outfits. I don't know if these come specifically with... I don't think these are exclusive. But I know that one mission and one outfit connected to that gang hideout mission is exclusive. That I luckily have. So we'll get to see that. I used to be so hardcore with doing things in a specific order. I used to try to get these scraps from the order that they're presented right here. That's, that's how far I went with that. But we will not be doing that in this walkthrough. That is, I would not put you guys through that. That is stuff that I would plan when I was bored, when I was in middle school playing this game. And I had no other games I felt like playing other than open world stuff. So no, I will not be putting you through the torture of me going through my, my weird stage of completionism in middle school. <laughs> 